Well, those aren't trees, really. <laughs> I'm starting a little video here to show you an update on what's growing under lights. And those are the globe basil plants, um, which are doing quite nice. They only have four of them, but uh, they're bushing out and becoming that nice little mound that they turn into. And they never seem to bolt on me or go try to try to bloom. Last year, the ones in the garden in the greenhouse didn't start to bloom until sometime in mid-September. So they are now my go-to variety of basil. Let's have a little look at the rosemary. These are the rosemary plants grown from seed. And they're coming along nicely. It's a bit slow because they're grown from seed, but they will they'll turn into some decent sized plants before the summer is out, I hope. I plan to keep at least one of them in the house and never take it outside because of the pests that I bring in when I move things in, but I may plant one of these in the greenhouse in the ground so that it will grow much better this summer. If the coloring is looking kind of strange, it's because, again, of these uh, fluorescent uh, full-spectrum grow lights. Um, they always make the color in, in the video look much paler than it actually is. Well, let's go up and have a look at some of the bigger plants, the peppers. Well, before I show you the pepper plants, and I think they're doing quite well, I want to explain something that I've been doing. I follow Nora and Brian nor in Brian's allotment in the UK. And this winter, I'm not certain who it was that Nora took the idea from, but from somebody that she follows, I guess, she started feeding all of her seedlings a weak solution of uh, hydroponics fertilizer. And uh, what the one that she was using was a one bottle type of hydroponic fertilizer. Uh, had the full spectrum in it. Uh, I had these bottles left over from when I used to do a little bit of hydroponics here a couple of years ago, and I was using a three bottle system. One is called Flora Bloom, one Flora Micro, and this one is Flora Grow, and they're all three different colors, and the, the Flora Micro is dark, dark black or purple or something. But anyway, what I have been doing is taking these syringes came came with it, uh, to use to uh, measure out what you were mixing into specific amounts of water and whatever for the hydroponic system. But I've been, it's a 10 cc syringe, so I have been filling the syringe with each one of these three and putting it in. I have a five gallon plastic pail here uh, that I keep water in for the, for the plants here in the grow room. And to both, to, oh, I don't know two-thirds full, something like that, around three gallons, I would say. So I put a syringe of each of those in the uh, water, in about three gallons of water, which makes up a fairly weak solution. But it has been working very well. Uh, I hope I have enough of this left to do another year, or maybe I'll buy some more. Uh, I haven't had to uh, uh, increase the pot size, for one thing, on, on the pepper plants. Previously, when I did peppers under lights, I had them up into gallon grow bags by now. But with this solution, the, the foliage is a beautiful dark green, and uh, I don't think that the little four-inch pots, I haven't knocked one out to be sure, but they don't seem to be root-bound at all. So let's have a look at them. As I've already said, I'm never terribly satisfied with the color that uh, shows up under these grow lights. I've got lots of additional light on here in the room right now, trying to show you the nice dark green color that they are, but you'll have to take my word for it if it's coming out some sort of a pale yellowish green, because they're not. They're a beautiful dark green plant. I'm growing uh, several varieties, which I've mentioned before. And off here, I don't think you can see these ones off here. I'll pick one up. These are the smallest, and I suppose for a good reason. Uh, the variety is mini yellow, so, but I think the plant itself, I remember growing it last year in the garden, the plant itself grew pretty much to a standard size, but they, so far in the lights, they've been the smallest, the smallest plants. And other than that, I'm growing uh, Jimmy Nardello, which are these lovely big ones here that have all sorts of uh, blossom buds on them, have had them for well, they've been showing up for at least two or three weeks. I haven't had one bloom out yet. And then there are the lipstick, and they're also a nice, good-sized dark green, and I do see some blossom buds coming down in there. 
Then the Thai chilies, um, they're a bit smaller. Uh, they really like the heat. They get out in the garden, they do better in the heat. And then there's the espalettes, which are another nice, good-sized plant with blossom buds again. So I'm thinking I won't have to do any additional pruning. Uh, they seem to be growing slowly under the lights, which is good. And they really seem to be enjoying those nutrients. So let's have a look at uh, some of the lemon plants, and then I'll get this video up on YouTube. I'm trying to make this one as short as possible. Well, there's a couple of the lemon plants. As you, if you've been following this, I've, I've grown two varieties. This one, is, I don't know what the variety is, it's just seeds out of a store-bought lemon. And this particular one is really reaching up for the lights, but I don't think that's a problem. If it gets too leggy, I'll prune the top off it and let it bush out some. I think, yeah, I saved four of those. And this is the Meyer lemon, uh, again, from seeds from a Meyer lemon that I bought. And I think I had all together, I had 13 that germinated, uh, came up really quite quickly. I had them on the propagating mat and uh, under lights. I saved six, so I have six of these. Hopefully out of the two, I will, the two varieties, I'll have at least one that I will save of each variety for, for a host plant. And I'll either find somebody, hopefully, to give the other ones to for a, a home. If there's somebody else crazy around here that would like to try growing a lemon in their house. Well, that concludes the video. I just wanted to give you a little update of what's happening under lights here. Other than that, um, there are some things that I've just got started. A few days ago, I planted my uh, tomato seeds, and I see they're starting to come up today. And I planted the eggplant, and no signs there yet. And I saved some of the uh, petunia seeds from my one petunia plant last year, Halvor. Uh, gave me uh, some seeds from a variety that he's grown himself and I didn't have great luck germinating them and he explained that my problem was that I, I buried the seeds so this time I just sprinkled them on top of the seeds and they're on the propagating mat and they're starting to come up but they're so tiny they wouldn't show up on camera I don't think but hopefully I'll have them big enough to put in the garden anyway this summer. Well thank you very much for watching.